Jordan. We couldn't have asked for a better man to stand beside my sister today. You have come so far and you truly have, have become, become such, such an important man. part of our family. You can deal with the crazy, the stubbornness and the wildness of the family, which not many people can. <laughs> and I see how you look at my sister and how much you love her. It's not often people find their soulmate, and I think you both have. I have complete trust and faith in you that you will always put her first, no matter what, and hold her from now until forever. You are so genuine, caring, kind, and thoughtful. You are the calmness in every room and always smile and light up every situation. Well, I worked at a nursing home, and that's how we met. We met at work, and then we immediately became friends because he started, like, he ended up starting working with me more. And then for, we got, we were friends right away, and then uh, it just sort of bloomed into more than that. Mm -hmm. We kind of fell for each other. Hope you're ready for this crazy ride we call life. And I know you already know this, but Leona and I come together, so. <laughs> so you got two for the price of one. Um, you're going to be a wonderful father and a husband. I don't doubt that for a minute. Her, her, just her, her way she carried herself, the way she smiled, and just yeah, something about her just it, yeah, drove me to her. It's fine. I think we first date really we went for coffee. We went to Tim Hortons and we ended up being there for like four hours just talking and. And we sat there talking to like 2 a.m., just enjoying each other's company. And I didn't want the night to end. I actually had my dog in the truck, and she chewed on his um, blinker thing. Her dog was in the car and in my truck and chewing my truck up. But yeah, it just uh, it was a great night. It just yeah. So Um, it was Christmas morning and he came, uh, I worked nights and he had worked the night before. So because like, he knew I wasn't going to be home so he got everything set up for the morning. I actually waited till she got off a night shift and I set out a bunch of flowers, purple flowers. There's a big E at the reception for Ellesmere and those purple flowers are the flowers that he proposed with. So uh, he had them all laid down on the floor to, and he had put them to the bedroom and he was in the bedroom on one knee with the camcorder and he's like will you marry me I said well yes I will but it was nice because and I said well you really did you have to do it on Christmas morning <laughs> but he's like yeah I had to do it it was a perfect gift I was like oh. I could not be happier for my sister. Looking at her today swells my heart with pride. If anyone deserves a special day, it's her. <clears throat> for all her kindness, generosity, courage, love, and thoughtfulness. I guess I did have a little bit in memory. <laughs> it's something we can all try to emulate. Uh, may this marriage give you all you desire and more. We're here to witness your promises of a faithful love to each other that will be uniting you in marriage today as husband and wife and that you will be living out as you fulfill those vows in your many seasons in life that is ahead of you. Love itself is what's left over when being in love has burned away. And this is both an art and a fortunate accident. Those that truly love have roots that grow towards each other underground and when all the pretty blossoms have fallen from their branches, they find that they are one tree and not two. May your marriage bring you all the exquisite excitements a marriage should bring. And may your life grant you also patience, tolerance, and understanding. May you always need one another, but not so much to fill your emptiness as to help you know your fullness. Leona, today I give myself to you. Today, Leona, I give myself to you. In marriage. In marriage. I vow to have the patience that love demands. 
To speak when words are needed. To speak when words are needed. And to share silence when they are not. And to share silence when they are not. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. And honest with you. And honest with you. To love and respect you. To love and respect you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Fiona, you have made yourselves husband and wife. So it's a pleasure for me to introduce them to you and to the whole world for the first time. Jordan, Leona, as husband and wife. Big kiss. And it is my pleasure to introduce Leona and Jordan Ellsmere. Honestly, I can't even put into words how much I love you, Leona. We have been through everything together, good, bad, and ugly. You have always been my rock, and I don't know what the hell I'd do without you. I have so many memories with you, it's hard to find my favorite. You make everyone around you the priority and have a calmness about you. We have cried, laughed, argued, danced, sang, and talked with each other for the last 31 years. And I want to thank you for every second of it. Sister, this is the next journey. And it's going to be fast, stressful, humbling, and memorable. And I will be there for you every step of the way. I really wish the best for you both, and I hope that there are many more little ones and many years of happiness. I know that... The... <laughs> hey, half, half a dozen, loan, whatever, doesn't matter. Whatever you feel comfortable with. Eight, nine... I truly wish the best for both of you, and I hope that there are many more little ones and many years of happiness. I know that the true test of a relationship is not in the best of times, but the worst of times, and when you can love someone through those times, <clears throat> that's what really matters. I stand here today so happy for you and Jordan. Mom would have had her big smile on and said, babe, you look gorgeous. Now buck up and take this life by the horns and don't let anybody steer you wrong are so much like her and will never be gone as long as you're here. I'm so glad you followed your heart, Leona, and I know a man like Jordan will carry it. So please, everybody, raise your glasses to Mr. and Mrs. Ellesmere. We love you.